Thank you for joining us. I'm Mauricio Casillas. Jamie Warren has the day off. We want to get straight to storm track weather right now with Joey Carrera. Joey, this is what December is supposed to feel like. Good morning. To national news, government dysfunction in Washington. Democrats and Republicans are pointing fingers at each other over the government shutdown. 19 minutes from Sunland Park to Saragossa, so just a little bit of traffic out there, nothing major. 13 minutes, though, if you're taking Mesa from Wrestler over to downtown. Still seeing green across El Paso. We were monitoring a crash in northeast, isn't causing any delays. This could potentially cause delay starting at 9 in the morning. Westbound entrance ramp on the border highway at Yarbrough will be closed starting at 9. New this morning, resolutions are full of ways to improve our lives. And this week, money expert Stacey Johnson is showing us simple ways to accomplish those goals. One of the most common resolutions is making a budget and sticking to it. One lucky person in New Hampshire has a lot more money than they started the weekend with. They won yesterday's Powerball jackpot, which is worth more than half a billion dollars. If there were too many surprises, Underneath your Christmas tree and not in a good way, you may be joining the millions of Americans making some returns this holiday season. Good morning, El Paso's Round the Clock reporter Joey Carrera is live with some return information, so grab your receipt. Joey? I'm Jamie Warren. And I'm Mauricio Casillas. We want to start this morning with a live look of the borderland with our ABC7 mountain cam. Sun is out, sky is looking clear, but we've seen strong winds battering parts of the city. Lanes at the Bridge of the Americas were blocked yesterday as hundreds marched, demanding the extradition of a former Chihuahua governor. Cesar Duarte is accused of corruption and stealing government funds, and he's believed to be hiding in the United States. Now the new governor is demanding he face justice in Mexico. ABC 7's Julio Cesar Chavez has this story. The National Weather Service said that the flooding tied a 40-year record. Wow. wow. Joining us now for a look at weather is storm tracker Iris Lopez. And we said it earlier, the only records we're really looking at are record highs. Mm -hmm. Time right now is 6.07, and this is ABC 7, where news comes first.